what's up, everybody? I'm Marcus. I'm Ryan. And together, we, we are, are the Northwest, Northwest Sports Fanatics. Fanatics. Man, it's a special day. Welcome to the Northwest Sports Fanatics 200th show. Five years in, five years strong, and we're still going. Yeah, so today we're going to talk about the college football playoff rankings, and we're going to give you two games to watch, one in the NFL and one in college. All right, let's get right to it. So without further ado, let's start with the college football playoff teams, the top four. And at number four, we have the Clemson Tigers. All right, so Clemson Tigers, 9-1 and one versus Wake Forest, 6-4 and four ESPN at 4 o'clock. And Clemson Tigers is all about the man, Mr. Deshaun Watson. He was just recently voted one of the semifinalists for the uh, the Walter Camp Award. He's had a, a up and down year, um, 3,400 yards passing and 29 total touchdowns. Right, a huge disappointment as far as quarterback this year. Three INTs to loss at Pitt, but you still are in the top four, and they rank 94th in the red zone, so they need to pick that up if they want to be able to make the college football playoff. All right, let's go to the number three team, and we're going to talk about the Michigan Wolverines. All right, 9-1 and one versus 5-5 five and five Indiana, 1230 ESPN. And with the Michigan Wolverines, it's going to be a fight to the end. They're in the battle for that Big Ten title with Michigan, of course. Ohio State, and surprise, Penn State. Right, who would have thought? So the big issue right now is quarterback Wilton Spate. He got injured, collarbone. Is he out for the year or is he out for a few weeks? They're keeping it hush-hush. So junior John O'Corn is going to step in. Now he is no slouch. He passed for 3,117 yards, 28 TDs, and 10 picks as a freshman in 2013. So all you Wolverine fans, don't worry. You're going to come up with a W at the end. All right, let's go to our number two team. And we're going to talk about the Ohio State Buckeyes. All right, 9-1 and one as well versus Michigan State 3-7, and seven, 9 a.m. ESPN for your breakfast window. This game has trap game written all over it. But shout out to Mr. Mike Weber. He's the third Ohio State freshman to run for over 1,000 yards. He's actually 65 yards short. And the other two running backs, number one, Mr. Robert Smith in 1990, and the second running back was Maurice Claret in 2002. Right. So this is going to be kind of a trap game, possibly. They need to reach the Big Ten championship game. And the thing is, is if Penn State loses one of the two uh, final games Mm -hmm. against Rutgers or Michigan State, that's going to get them in. But it's going to be really tough because they got that championship game against more than likely Michigan. Yes. So not both teams are going to be able to advance in the playoff, only one. So that's really what we're looking for. So they can't look ahead. They got to take care of business against Michigan State first. All right. And the number one team, of course, is going to be the Alabama Crimson Tide. All right. Roll Tide, 10-0. and They're going to be playing against Chattanooga, a cupcake 8-2 and game. And that's going to be at 4 o'clock ESPN2. And it's all about Mr. Jalen Hurts. He's having the best – QB single season in Alabama history. He's the first to pass for over 300 and also rush for 100 in a single game. And he has 11 rushing TDs, which is a Crimson Tide record. And he's doing all of this against the toughest schedule in college football. Right. So Alabama's probably smiling since obviously two, three, and four lost last week. Obviously with Clemson, Michigan, and obviously UW. Last time they played Chattanooga, this eight and two cupcake, they won 49 to zero in 2013. All right. So there you have it. Also, Mr. Lamar Jackson, watch out. Jalen Hurts is on you for that Heisman. So let's go to our games to watch. Let's start off in the college. We're going to stay on the West Coast here, a little Pac-12 love. Washington State Cougars versus the Colorado Buffs. All right, so 22 ranked Washington State Cougars versus the 10th ranked Colorado Buffaloes. Both teams are 8 and 2. This has Pac-12 championship implications. 12:30 on Fox. Let's start with Washington State and with Washington State, I got to give a shout out to Mr. Luke Falk. 3,600 yards, 33 passing TDs. Right. So the thing is, is that UW thought they were just going to run through the Pac-12. You still got the Apple Cup coming up shortly. So if Washington State can find a way to win at home Mm -hmm. and maybe take out UW, they can steal a little bit of that spotlight. But check this out. The most interesting thing about this matchup, two years ago, a mere two years ago, both these teams were in last place in the North Pac-12 division and the South Pac-12 division. So it's a little irony that both of them now are 8-2 and two contending for the championship. And uh, Colorado, they have 
have their first winning season in 10 years, and they'll also be going to their first bowl game in nine years. Right, so Cordell Stewart and the rest of the crew that went there are definitely smiling, and we're going to have to see if Colorado can make that upset happen. All right, let's go to the NFL game to watch. Again, we West Coasting out here. The Seattle Seahawks against the Philadelphia Eagles. All right, so 125 on CBS. Carson Wentz goes on the road where he struggled to face the impactful, dominant, outstanding Russell Wilson. And for Philadelphia, uh, the key for them, they had 208 rushing yards last week against Atlanta. Atlanta had a top 10 rush defense, so they had some success there. They're going to have to duplicate that against the Seahawks defense, who's only given up 96 yards per game rushing. Right. So Russell Wilson, obviously they haven't lost a whole lot of games with him at the quarterback position. At home with the 12th man, I obviously feel that they're going to probably impose their will on Philly. But Philly's defense is very good. Yes, they they have a, one of the best you know, D-line fronts for front sevens in the league so the only way that philly is going to come out with this victory is if they can get some pressure on russell wilson put him on his back and if they can keep it a close game maybe under 20 that'll be their chance to win with carson wentz the seattle seahawks since 2012 get this they are 31 and 5 at home that's amazing one of the best records at home besides the patriots and obviously this is a must-win game for the seahawks if they want to get closer and closer to the dallas cowboys so they can get home field as we go to the super bowl run all right so there you have it our college football playoff rankings plus two games for you guys to take a look out for this weekend man we we made it to 200 man this is a a great joyous day for us we we've been putting in the work five years Man, we, we started on just a laptop, and I mean, look at us now. Right, so we're going to have 200 videos, obviously, moving forward, and another 200 after that. So, obviously, like our page, share it, do all the support that you can. We really appreciate all the love that we're getting. Yes, all the love, all the support. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Northwest Sports Fanatics. We're giving you guys the news the way you want to hear it. Absolutely. All right, I'm Marcus. This is Orion. Only got one question for you. Who you know talks sports like us? Northwest Sports Fanatics. We'll